according to uh, an article in The Guardian this week, uh, disabled people make up to... And sorry, it wasn't this week. It was a few months ago. Uh, disabled people make up to 8% of the population but have borne 29% of the cuts, making them nine times more likely to be affected than able-bodied people. It's just... It, it, it's, it's wrong, like, to be quite frank with you. And, um, you know, some, some people in more, you know, who are more able-bodied, you know, I, I couldn't appreciate what those people are going through. Yeah. So it, it, I just think it's, it's completely wrong and the government need to take a good, uh, long, hard look at themselves when, when they see that video back. If they think that's right, then um, they're God, Alex, you've come back very serious. No, but it's, it's Listen, true. I agree, as a stretch Muppet, I agree with him. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, right, right. as the only one of the four of us that is able-bodied and normal <laughs> And I mean, meanwhile... Use that term loosely, mate. <laughs> Meanwhile, how are the government dealing with the fact that they may not reach the legally binding target of fewer than one in ten children in poverty by 2020? They're going to try to scrap the target. Not only that, it's reported they may also change the definition of poverty in order to lower the numbers of children in poverty. Wow. If we've learnt one thing from this government, it's that politicians really love screwing vulnerable children. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. And while we bemoan the yeah, state of the economy... Of all the weeks to bring it down, Adam... Oh, do you know what? Fuck them. Absolutely <laughs> fuck them. No, that's the problem. Ooh. You know what? That's the fucking problem with this country right now. You make a joke about politicians screwing children, people go, ooh, you can't say that. No, no-one can say it for 30 fucking years, and that's why they've been doing it. We need to talk more about the fact that politicians are fucking children. In every sense. I don't know. I... Sorry, Adam, but as a British person, these Australians, they come over here... <laughs> ..and they have a go at our paedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Hey! I thought you said you wanted to do a play because you found uh, touring and doing stand-up very lonely. Very lonely. Are you it's joking? Very... Yeah, yes. Oh, is your tour no. support? <laughs> Kim Jong-il once phoned the North Korean soccer coach during their World Cup match against Brazil with an invisible phone he invented himself. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Uh, again, that's a genuine claim.